tonight a Panasonic PV4250. And I haven't uh, done anything with this yet. We're going to turn it on. Oh, well, that's interesting. So I press the power button. Okay, let's just try putting a tape in this thing. Ah, oh, interesting. So the tape goes in part way and it comes back out. I wonder what could be the problem. I think we're looking at, on this one, an alignment issue of our front loading mechanism because the tape won't even drop. I haven't even got the tape down. I don't know if anything else is wrong with it or not. It won't accept the cassette. It's not going to work. So let's get involved with uh, taking this mechanism out here and I'm going to shoot the person that just can't stop sending me text messages. Every time I go to make a video, I get pinged constantly by an annoying contact. Uh, to get these machines apart, it's, the phone's probably going to go off again just to annoy me. Uh, you got to pop out the tabs. This one here, these tabs are very fragile on these Panasonic. This one just broke on me. But you lift up these tabs slightly to take the front off. There's some more on the side here. You got a cup. I guess the first thing we should do is maybe shut the power off. <laughs> we got two tabs on the side, one on either side here. We have to release. And the front. There's normally another one here and here, but it broke. And the one on the side. <clears throat> And then a couple more on the bottom. So we just release those two in the front, will come off. Undo this plug. Now we need to take the loader assembly out. So to do that, there are two screws on the front. We remove these two screws, and these are special screws one on either side then we have two more screws here and two more screws at the back so we remove the four screws that hold the loader in place and the loader assembly will just lift out. See what I mean? Phone can sit all day and not go off once and I try to make a video and I get bombarded with messages. Oh gee, there's a... here we go. There's an overpopulation in the wild of lionfish by somebody entering 10 lionfish, emptying an aquarium of 10 lionfish. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's that was the breaking news that I'm getting interrupted for. Um, we lift out the cassette loading mechanism. And uh, on here there are timing marks. I can already see we're part of the problem right now. Uh, this one here looks... Mm, pretty sure it's supposed to line up with this hole but this one's off about the same, it's off by a tooth but here's where I can really see the problem if I look down here there's two little alignment holes here and they are supposed to be lined up with each other and as you can clearly see those holes are not lined up with each other so we need to take this piece apart in order to fix that and how that's done it's just as a couple more little tabs here we just pop those tabs forward be very careful with these plastic parts Panasonic has, was known for using shitty plastic and things break really, really easy on Panasonic machines. So, pop the plastic pieces out here and on here, as you can see, there, there's our jamming right there. It's not going down because we're off by a tooth. So more than likely what happened is somebody jammed a tape in and managed to skip a tooth. I hope it's not broken, but we'll try realigning it here. So we just carefully lift the lock tab out so we can pull the loading gear assembly out and we can realign it so that the two of them mesh up exactly. So we want them to go down like that if we can. 
there. I think that's lined up. Now, yes, now you see what happens when the gear turns. There's a, a larger foot on the end of this gear, which is going to mesh. It's going to lock in there as it rotates. It's going to lock in and it's going to allow this cam gear to continue to turn. Because this gear here actually turns with the loading motor. If we look down on the mechanism here, it's actually geared into this worm gear, which is part of the loading mechanism. So there's a good chance that the mechanism here is out of alignment as well. And we can adjust that just by turning our loading motor belt here. There are alignment marks on the tower gear here and there are also alignment marks and I'm just going to move the camera so you guys can see it because at this angle you're not going to see what I'm talking about so if we look down here you'll see what I'm talking about okay right down in here there's a hole and that tells you that that gear is in alignment and it lines up with this hole here so you would just turn you can see the you can see the alignment hole moving. You turn it until it's lined up. When those two are aligned together, then we know that the mechanism is in phase here. The main cam gear is in the starting position, as is our tower gear. That's our home position that we want to start at. Now we have to put the front loading mechanism back together. I remember I was concerned about the alignment of this gear. I'm just going to make sure that that is in the correct position. So I'm just going to try and kind of push it a bit. Um, I guess I gotta actually remove this. I, I, I hate doing this because these, these mechanisms are so bloody flimsy that this little tab could easily break. But we're gonna take that gear back. Now I gotta make sure that I get the, the, the this plastic pin has to ride in this groove here. Not on this side of the spring either. It's gotta be in this groove. So we have to pull the front mechanism to the fully ejected position and kind of position our our gear in place so that we can get our alignment where the, the two holes are going to line up right about like that and we should be able to snap that in place there now as you can see we're lined up and we're in the track. We're not in this area here. You don't want that pin in this area here. It's, or there's going to be plastic parts flying when it, when you try to load it because as this as this uh, lever rotates, the actual um, pin, which is the same as this one on this side, actually slides back and forth inside here as for clearance as this rotates. So now we've got that side correct. We do the same on this side. We make sure that we are in the fully unloaded position. Fully unloaded position is like that with the alignment holes lining up and we position the gear or position the mechanism over top of the tabs and it should snap together. Make sure that we turn this gear back. We're going to turn it clockwise. We're trying to line up these marks here, these timing gears snap it together. Now when we run the mechanism it should run freely. We have to release these little locks here. There's two little locks, one here and the other one on this side here. This is the tape lock that prevents you from pushing the tape in if there, or put, prevents the mechanism from loading if there's no tape. So we have to release these two locks and then the mechanism should go right down. And If I turn this gear they actually lock again. We have to release them a second time. This is the second point that they stop. And the mechanism should, when I turn this gear, it should lower down. Where are we here? Uh, at least release that, release that. It should just lower straight down when I turn loading gear, which it has. Now our mechanism is fully down. Turn the loading gear back, and the mechanism should lift up smoothly at the same position on both sides. You see that? Got to line up so that you're not dropping down on one side before the other. It will go up and release all the way back like that. Now we're ready to load the front loading mechanism back into the machine.
we just drop it in place make sure that we're all the way back but a little bit I just pulled a little bit of back tension on here so basically I'm going to take the camera off the sticks again for this I want to put a little bit of tension on this gear here so I'm just going to before I drop it fully into place I'm just going to pull it up I'm just going to pull back ever so slightly on my finger here just to make sure that there's a little bit of tension so that so it's pushing the tape towards the exit position see that so it's, it's springing back now I can put the screws in and we'll see what happens and I'm going to do this all in one shot without stopping the camera just so that you can see that I'm not using any trickery here how I've, how I've done this alignment so we just take our our two machine screws put our machine screws in and then the plastic screws go into the plastic cabinet and then there's these two special screws these also uh, these have got spacers on them they go back into those two holes on the front where you took out they actually attach to the main chassis so this is what holds the the uh, back side of this mechanism in place because these certainly won't this has to be anchored to the main deck and that's what these screws do is these screws anchor the front loading mechanism to the main deck now I don't really need to put this on to test it other than the fact that the buttons on here actually operate little levers and the switches are inside so it just makes it a little easier for working there's no front there's no door on this because it's broken as you can see the plastic that the inside that the door the tape door was on that's been long broken so there's no door on this machine but it will still operate if you had a door you would open the door up so that you could get it in behind the lid lifter for the door but since I don't have a door I should just be able to pop it together plug in my little plug here oh, sort of plug in my plug make sure they don't all snap together which I am and I should be able to turn it on and we should be able to load a tape and there it goes and we have a picture and all the other functions on this work I don't have to do any other work on this fast forward go back to play and that's uh, that's it that's how you align the front loading mechanism on a Panasonic PV 4250 we'll catch you in the next video oops eject where's my eject button stop eject